All right, so uh, ZIPhone.org now has its new um, 2.6 version that supports uh, all iPod touches, uh, 8 gigabyte, 16, and 32. So I'm going to show you how to uh, use the iPhone. I'll show you my iPod. It is not jailbroken, but it does have the application, so... I don't know that or how it'll affect it, but I doubt it'll affect it anyway. Anyway, you're going to download this by clicking on it. I already downloaded it, but um, just save it to your desktop. It's going to be an execution file, which uh, means it's probably going to be a pretty big file. Anyway, here it is right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. <laughs> you double click that. Mm -hmm window will pop up saying if you get an error install microsoft.net I already have it so just press ok and then just uh, extract it all to your desktop you're going to press the dot 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 button as the dots and a window is going to pop up and just Scroll to the top where it says desktop and just hit that and press OK and then press unzip. You're going to see all the things pop up on the desktop. Alright. So you're going to see the, the little lock icon. You're going to Hit that program and open that up. Z, Z iPhone G U I. Alright. And once it opens up, it takes a while, sorry about this. And uh, once again, when you do zip it, you might want to zip it to a folder on your desktop just to make it cleaner because it is all over my desktop now. Anyway, now you see um, jailbreak button right here for iPhone. Cannot see it on this. Anyway, that says iPhone right there, and this one says iPod Touch. So you want to click the iPod Touch one. And then over here it says jailbreak iPod Touch opens the file system for read write access so that you can install third party application, tweaks and more. Installer app will be installed automatically. It only works on 114 firmware. So it says you if you do not just restore on 114. And at the bottom, everyone keeps getting the annoying error. It says if iPod gets stuck at spamming AT waiting for response, use fix N V R A M button in advanced features. So I'm going to try it because I don't think I have that that messes it up. So press iPod touch. It'll say a little loading button will go. And open up the output log just to see. Alright. It says my iPod is entering recovery mode. Alright. There we go. And look at that right there, spamming AT waiting for response. So to fix this, all you have to do is hold on, let me find something. All you have to do is uh, put it in restore mode hold it like that hold both buttons at the same time until it shuts off then once it shuts off and then it shuts it turns back on when you see the apple logo you're going to let go of the sleep button and just keep holding down the home button until you get that and then you're going to go back to 
it's the iPhone. You know, click the down down button right there. Show more advanced features. And we're gonna click um, the new button hit here. Fix N V R A M. Cannot. Can you see? I don't think you can see it, but click that. Alright, so it's fixing it. Alright, see if it gets past it now. Oh, and it fixed it, and <clears throat> it's still going. It got past the spamming AT. Looks like it does fix it. Alright, that's going to reboot. Alright, let's see if it worked. And we have Z Z Z Z Blog. So it means it got that on there. But now we're gonna go back to the computer. It looks like we didn't get an installer icon. And we're gonna hit the iPod Touch once again because we fixed the N V R A M. So hit iPod Touch. Jailbreak again. Alright, and it's gonna re reboot it. Alright. <clears throat> and there it goes. Alright, now it should work. See if we get the installer icon this time. Alright, now let's see. And this time we have installer. Alright, so that's how you jailbreak your 114. And, um, let's see if there's any problems in installer. I think there was a problem with the downloading package error, where it wouldn't let you download it. But to fix this, like I said in the previous video, just update your installer. See if there is an update or if it has a recent version. And install or update. So that's how you fix it right there. You just press update. And then you'll need to restart your iPod after this. And there you go. That's all you need to do.